about to look crazy. I look like shit. But I'm about to get on a meeting with um, Skims. I have to get on a Zoom meeting. Love being able to be at home. So let's hop on real quick. Give y'all a little inside of it. One second. Hello. Hey. Hi. Hi. How are you? I don't know if you wanted me to turn my camera on. I don't oh, know. literally whatever you feel. <laughs> I'm like, I look like, I look terrible right now. <laughs> oh, no, literally no pressure at all. Okay. At all. So weird I even have mine on. I don't even know. I <laughs> I'm like, I've been working all day. I'm like, I look like I've been going through it. <laughs> no, literally no stress. But how are you? It's I'm, nice to hop on a call with you. Thank you. you. Same yeah. to you. You're so pretty. Oh, thanks. So are you. <laughs> thank oh, you. <laughs> thank you. And also, reshooting is never the priority. It's exactly. Like what we want, so yes. We like to kind of, I know these can be like tedious, but just like, Oh, good. You're gonna see me. <laughs> All right, there I am. Hi. <laughs> okay, so they sent me um, they sent me the black. This is like the um. So one of them. Okay, let me see. Like an underwire bra. So mm -hmm. I'm excited for you to like put it on. Yeah, like, I'm this. When it comes to my bras, I'm like I like to be comfortable. Okay, I because know, I don't. Know. It makes my chest feel tight sometimes. You know. Exactly. Like there's digging, there's pitching, exactly. It's pulling in the wrong places. Yeah. So yeah, exactly. I know this candle doesn't fit the aesthetics, but it smells so good. It smells like fall. So this candle right here. I think I did I show y'all this? I don't know. Anyways, it's a wood wick. It smells so good. It smells literally makes the whole house smell good. And it's called Apple Chai from Target. Now, the green is definitely not my style, but it's not like too bad, you know what I mean? It's still like a neutral green. And it just smells so good, and I'm like, what other flavors do y'all have? What other scents? So I might make a run to Target tonight, but I'm still working, y'all. Still working. I'm about to wash this movie. Because I'm about to make another movie. Because I made breakfast this morning. I just made some scrambled eggs and some bacon. And that's it. So I still need to eat. But in the meantime, I don't know what I'm going to eat. I have some leftover chicken from. The restaurant me and Kayla went to yesterday, the Mexican restaurant. And it comes with rice. So I actually just might eat all that. I actually didn't eat any of it, just one piece of chicken. I didn't eat any of it because I was so full. <laughs> the salsa and guac. I ate so much of it. So I think I'm gonna just go ahead and heat that up and eat that for tonight because it's Friday and who wants to cook on Friday? Nah. So I'm about to make this smoothie and get back to work. Got this leftover bag. I'm ready to go. Let me just go ahead and add that in here for now. Just to get rid of it. Literally a little bit. So I need to add a little bit more fruit. I don't know which one I would use. Raspberries and strawberries. Three strawberries in there, pineapples, bananas. I'm deciding if I want to put my green superfood powder in there. This. I need some greens. Here, I showed y'all this before. You can get off Amazon. I've linked this on my Instagram. I'll leave it in the description for y'all too. Mm. Two tablespoons. So one, two. Put 
Put a little bit of hemp seed in here as well. Just kind of, just do. I just eye it to be honest. Um, do I want to put peanut butter today? Just a little bit of peanut butter. And this is the peanut butter, y'all. White chocolate peanut butter. Six grams of protein. Go ahead and put some milk and ice in there. Kind of shake it up a little bit. This color is so ugly. All right, let's try it because it might actually be nasty. It's definitely doable. Like adding greens to your stuff can sometimes take away, but that's the point of it being healthy. <laughs> so, yeah. All right, so I was just taking a smoothie break. Good morning, happy Sunday. So I did not see y'all after I got my hair done yesterday. Um, I came home because I had some things I needed to handle. And this is going to be my first time watching Logan without Kylie. She has a meeting to go to. Um, she picked up a really good role. You know, I don't know if you guys know, but Kylie is into acting. She does acting. She's been doing that for a couple years now. So she picked up a really good role. And I'm so happy for her and so excited. So tomorrow I'm watching my girl Lolo and I'm so excited because I'm watching her by myself. So I'm gonna call it like a mommy for the day type of thing. But anyways, I'm about to make me a smoothie. Um, normally I use my own fruits, but today I'm gonna just use this pre-made fruit veggies that I've had in the freezer. Um, and then I'm going to be finishing the vlog I've been working on. And then um, meeting up with Kayla later at 5.30 for sushi at eight sushi and then um yeah that's gonna be pretty much it um so yeah i'm about to make me a little snack too i think i've showed all these in my last vlog but i just need a little something i'm about to do a smoothie because i want something cold and refreshing and then um yeah i'm gonna work on to the, or the vlog that i've been working on but other than that not much going on um, I didn't get everything that I wanted to get done this week, but it is what it is. It's okay. Okay. Um, yeah. So I'm like very much anxious, not anxious, but I'm like, I wonder what type of feedback I'm going to be getting from the video that I'm uploading, the vlog I'm uploading, because I am talking about, you know, cosmetic procedures things like that and you know how people are when it comes to that okay so yeah that's that i'm also thinking about filming um i've been telling you i want to do a sit down but i'm thinking about filming like a sit down just kind of like a girl talk on how to just be you know that girl again you know like i feel like i've kind of talked about that before but i did that more so in the girl talk with kayla but i'm thinking of doing one on my own so i'm thinking of just you know just kind of think, talking about experiences that i've been through and how i just wake up every day and i don't let the internet anybody make me feel like i'm not that girl make me feel like i'm not me and that i can't run my show my show because i'm the type of person like i told y'all i only worry about my life i don't care about nobody else's like of course the people that are in my life meant to be 
so loud. Of course, the people in my life, my friends, let me talk louder. <laughs> my family, you know, I'm worried about them, but even them, like, they all have their own lives. I have my own life. I'm not worried about anybody. If you're not helping me, if you're not benefiting me, I'm not worried about you. Everybody in my life benefits me in ways of teaching me, loving me, um, you know, just all types of things. So, I can go on and on, but I feel like a lot of people, you know, don't know me, really. You guys don't really know me. You know me from the little bits of the video, but there's ways to really be that girl and be comfortable within yourself where you don't wake up with a negative headset, head mindset, headset, <laughs> mindset of, you know, just being negative and thinking and talking bad about other people that you don't know or you're just not comfortable within yourself. So, do what makes you happy, but I feel like I kind of want to do like a little video on that, so. We'll see, but I'm about to make this smoothie and get back to work because this vlog needs to be finished. Okay. No, Louie, watch out. <laughs> Let's go get ready for sushi. My goodness. <laughs> so I thought this would be like a good time to just kind of talk, even though I shouldn't be driving and vlogging because I don't have my proper um, camera holder, although I just ordered one from Amazon, but it just didn't do what it needed to do, okay? So, basically, I'm coming up here because I've just been in really good spirits. Like, I'm normally in really good spirits, um, but there's just so much that I want to accomplish and that I want to do. Let me open up this, give it some more light. Um... You know, there are just a few things that I want to, you know, just kind of do in life and focus on. Um, my focus wasn't really on creating content these last few months, and that's because for a while, I would say up until January, January, oh, January, February, like January, February time. I was going through some things just mentally um, with detaching myself from someone that I was with a lot of the time um, for, for quite a while and you know having to let that go and just start you know living life with you know just yourself again is different and can be hard especially when you have a lot of love for somebody and you know you didn't expect things to turn out the way they did. Um, so, yeah, I'm the type of person where I am like a hopeless romantic. I believe in love, I believe in romance, I believe in all of that. I have come a long way because, um, you know, my very first relationship here in Atlanta um, wasn't public. None of my relationships are public, none of them will ever be public. But, um, <clears throat> nine times out of ten you guys will probably really never know who I'm dating or who I'm in a relationship with um, there's always speculations but nine times out of ten they're wrong and the details are completely wrong <laughs> wild um, I just think it's crazy that people actually think I'm a certain type of girl and I carry my with myself a certain type of way like that which is crazy um, I grew up in a really structured, strict home, and even though, you know, you hang around a certain amount of people or a certain type of crowd around certain people that do have a name maybe or, you know, don't have the best reputation, doesn't mean that everyone around them is doing what they're doing or what they've done in the past, you know what I mean? And people aren't the same. People that have a bad reputation have also worked on their reputation and aren't even the same people grow people make mistakes and people are single and can do whatever the fuck they want to do and that's what I do I'm the type of person why I don't care what people say about me because I know what goes on behind closed doors I know what goes on in my life and I know that um I know my worth and I know my standards and I know what I will do and what I won't do and I don't have to do a lot y'all like I'm really me I'm a humble girl I'm a beautiful woman who is growing every day and I am very confident in myself and I am not going to do something that I don't want to do and that is just me and I think that 
I've been able to, you know, do certain things in life, meet certain people, explore and, you know, travel certain places and do certain things because I have met a lot of people and have created genuine friendships. And um, a lot of people do think that once you are linked to someone or associated with someone or seen out with someone you are with that person or have done xyz with this person whatever the case is and i'm here to let y'all know and i'm sure y'all have heard it before from me from other people to mind your business <laughs> it'll get you along it'll get you pretty far in life and a good minding your business will have a you'll have a peaceful peaceful life because you're only worried about your business okay i feel like i'm giving like a class because i got these classes on <laughs> no but seriously um you know i live in my truth and i'm a very private person i feel like i have opened up more up with you guys here recently in these last few vlogs and i'm really enjoying that because i felt like i was just being more closed off just because people are just so nasty and mean and it's not that I that it bothered me I just wasn't trying to have that type of energy in my brain for me to read and just you know have that I'm just really big on energy and I'm really big on I don't like to tell people what I'm doing that are good things because once you tell people that it seems like things kind of always go left and it's like people just put bad energy and I'm really big on that and I just don't like that so yeah, I was going through a whole little breakup. It wasn't really a... Yeah, it was like a breakup in a way. Because, like, we were together all the time, 24-7. I was, like, damn near living with this person. And, you know, there was... It was just not... It was a very toxic. <laughs> very toxic relationship. But, you know... I appreciated it for sure. Um, so now I'm just in the place since I've been like just completely single. I'm at the place now where I'm just kind of like just really doing me, focusing on me. Um, I'm not looking for a man. If one comes to me and I, you know, feel something or want to pursue it, I will. But, you know, it seems like I've just had so many come at me right now. And I'm just like, it's just not what I want. And I just don't feel the spark of yes I'm gonna give my energy to this person so I think it's just God and my mental still telling me and just me in general as a growing woman I'm about to be 26 in November that it's just time to really focus on you because I tend to put a lot of people before me and you know sometimes it doesn't get me very far and I need to learn to just be selfish when it comes to me. I feel like I can be, but I really just, I, I just have this soft spot in me. Like I don't play when it comes to people getting over on me or how I feel, I express how I feel, I express what I won't, don't like, things like that, but I just always have a soft spot for people and tend to put them before me. And I'm not doing that anymore. I'm doing what makes me happy. And right now I'm just not feeling any vibes. I'm just feeling my vibe with me doing me you know what I mean like I want to be home in my space creating content for you guys growing myself growing my brand doing things that truly make me happy I mean at the end of the day I've been doing what makes me happy I've been doing what I want to do I'm gonna do what I want to do at the end of the day um but when it comes to just me now you know and I feel like I'm just at that point in my life where I'm just you know focusing on me but um yeah, I just felt like, you know, a lot of, I, I just feel like a lot of times I just get wrapped up in so many things that I just, I don't want to say I get overwhelmed, but I just can't focus on what I really want to focus and be in that creative content type of mode. And being creative takes a lot of thought and it just, <laughs> creating content takes a lot and it may seem easy like oh you get to just show your life girl it's not that easy on top of having my private life it is hard to balance because I like to keep my private life aside from this life on camera like I'm still the same person but I'd still like to detach and have that own private relationships with friends family whatever to myself um 
because at the end of the day, I love you guys to death, but I still like to keep that peace for me. I can't give y'all all of me, you know? Some people are very open and transparent. That's just not me. I've never been that way. Um, I've always been super private. Like, I feel like sometimes I get bashed for being so private, but I think it's just in me. That's just who I am. I'm very closed off sometimes. And two, I'm very to myself. Like, I'm just so to myself. I don't let nobody... <laughs> I really don't be caring, y'all. I'm very nonchalant, and I'm, like, a very, like, free, go-with-the-flow type of person. Like, you not about to ruin my day over your shit you got going on. I don't got shit to do with me. So, I've always been like that. Like, I used to get in trouble growing up because I didn't come out of my room and spend time with my family. And I just love being alone. I love it so much. I love having peace and quiet. I can sit in my house and not have no sound the whole entire day. Like, I love it. Um, I just like being in my own space. Like, I, that's why I never could do roommates. That's why I never could live with someone other than my man. And when it comes to being with my man and live with a person, I have to really have that type of bond and connection with you because, honey, I like my space. I'm low-key OCD. Like you know so um i've just always been that way and i've always been a type of person where i don't like to put my problems on other people and i'm not a dramatic type of person like i don't <clears throat> like to complain and put it out there to other people i will complain to myself in my head literally but i will not complain to people like yeah i might call my best friend if I'm dealing with a nigga and like I just need a vent real quick but on the on the other side when it comes to other personal things in life I keep it to myself because I don't it's draining it's draining I know how it feels when people put that on me and it's draining and it's like just relax take a chill pill okay it is gonna be okay and I'm very big on positive energy like me and my best friend Imani in the last vlog I told you I had a conversation with her. We were on the phone for hours and she told me one thing she remembers from years ago that I said is that you can't be, you can't think negative. Like, I'm just not that type of person that thinks negative. If something happens that is bad to me, I'm just like, I'm going to overcome this. It's going to be okay. I just have to do this. I'm figuring it out. Like, I'm just, I'm not about to call people and be like, what the fuck? Like, I don't know what to do. Like, this shit just keeps happening to me. Like, da 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 da. I'm not that type of person because I'm really big in believing if you speak this negativity into the universe, the negativity cloud is going to stay on top of you. And I don't want the negativity cloud to stay on top of me. Like, it may pass through, but I'm doing as much as possible to get it to float that way. <laughs> Cause it's not i don't want it over here and one thing that really helps is that speaking positive and not thinking so negative negatively on that situation and she said that ever since i've told her that she's used that so much and she's just become so more like just clear and you know she's able to give other people advice and help them when they have these negative thoughts like i know people that are just very negative and very overwhelming and i'm just like i'm telling you life will be so much easier if you just don't sweat it like that like it's going that shit is gonna happen it's life it's going to happen. It's life. So, you know, um, I've just always been that type of person. I'm not perfect, but I also just, like, I don't dwell on... What I will dwell on, what I'm not going to lie, is heartbreaks. Those shits, that shit gets to me. That is when it takes me out my motherfucking phone, bitch. And I'm weak. And I'll be like, bitch, stand up. <laughs> That is my weak spot, I'm not gonna lie, but that's when I'm really like in love. I saying with niggas, like this is not just on a typical, you know what I mean? Like, no. When it's someone I'm really love, I love, spend so much time with, have created this type of bond, we have this type of energy together, like we've created this friendship, relationship, like that shit gets to me. Cause it's like I'm with you every day, you're a part of my life, you're a part of my 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 everyday routine. And I have to live life without you. It's weird <laughs> now that's when I'm weak in the knees but when it comes to like other shit I feel like I'm pretty good at that I just don't like to tell people about my problems for real like I'll handle them on my own because yeah I can get advice which I do get advice sometimes but nine times out of ten I'm gonna figure it out on my own and I'm the type of person I don't like to ask for help I don't like asking for anything so you know sometimes they say closed mouths don't get fed but 
I feel like I open my mouth at the right times when I do really need the help, you know? But I know this is kind of like a whole car rant of just kind of all over the place, but you know, I have definitely been having my sad days throughout this year where I've had not been in the best moods and haven't been in the mood to create content and just trying to refine myself in certain areas as a growing woman and I'm not perfect and I go through everything that I'm sure y'all go through and I just wish more people would understand that I'm a real person, I have feelings, I go through the same things y'all go through, um, you know? But life's great. Can't complain. Blessed. Definitely one of God's favorites for sure. And I feel like I tend to take it for granted sometimes. And I'm just really starting to see that I really just can't because I am definitely one of his favorites. And, you know, I'm just so blessed in so many different ways. Life is not perfect. Like I said, it's not perfect. I could have. There's so many more things I want to accomplish, do, see that I'm working towards, that I know I've put on hold, but you know, there's really no rush to this. Like, there's really no rush. Like, I'm still young, I don't have any kids, I'm not married, I'm a single woman, like, not attached to anybody. There's no rush. I can do things at the pace I wanna do it, and the internet, like I said in my last vlog, just seems to try to tell people what to do, which makes absolutely no sense to me. Like, I just will never get that. I will never understand how, Someone can try to tell a stranger how to live their life, how to spend their money, who to date, who to not date, how to date. Like, girl, if you mind your business and focus on yourself, if you miserable and wish you was in my shoes or wish you had my life, wish you was just me, just say that. Or just, like, become a better person. Be comfortable in yourself. Don't wish for people's downfalls or hate on people and you don't even know them or, you know, just, like, be negative. I just can't stand people. I really can't. I'm really, like, I'm a people's person, but I'm not a people's person, honestly. I'm, like, a friendly girl, but I know and I will spot out bullshit, and I don't play that at all. My friends, my family knows that, okay? Um, so, yeah, that's that. That was a whole 18-minute speech. I just pulled up to eat sushi. Basically, love yourself, mind your business, drink your water, wash your face every day, do that skincare routine, eat vegetable and vegetables eat vegetables fruits mind your business again and mind your business again live your life how you want to live it and don't let nobody change your mind i love you guys and i'll see y'all inside good morning happy Monday. Today is a very exciting day for me because I'm getting so much. My girl Lolo and me and her are gonna have a good quality bonding day, okay? Just me and her. And I'm so excited. Y'all know that's my girl. So today's my first day watching her by myself. Today's the first day watching a baby by myself. My goodness. This is really gonna give me like. How I'm gonna do. We're gonna I'm gonna give y'all the full raw footage of how it goes. You know, my girl, she definitely should be giving me an easy time, but with babies nowadays, you just never know. So I'm excited to watch her. Um, I'm like this with my hair. I told y'all I got it trimmed because this hair is really about to come out probably the next time. I get it done, but anywho, um, yeah, so I'm really excited. It is 9 a.m., well, 9.45 now. I've been up for about an hour, and um, I'm gonna go over to Kylie's house, and I'll probably go get over there at like 11.45. Um, she was gonna bring her here, but um, something had came up, so I'm gonna just go over there. It'll make things a lot easier anyways. Um, so yeah, I'm about to go upstairs since I have like an hour and a half to kind of just get things that I need to get done. But anyways, I'm gonna go finish working and I will catch y'all on my way to Kylie's or just when I get there. i
the plane to the truck, truck to the hotel lobby. Me, I go through underground garages, presidential suite on the plaza, elevator up. Are you here with Auntie? It's just me and you today. You excited to be with Auntie? Yeah. Uh huh. <laughs> <Whoop>. Yeah. <laughs> so pretty. Say hi. Say hi, everyone. Say hello. <laughs> yeah. Say hello. Say hello. Say hello. Say hello. No. Say hello. Say hello. No, you don't want to put that in your mouth. She's on the phone. Let me see. Cause it's dirty. Let me see. 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 Let me <laughs> you say hello? Yes. What? Mm. You give auntie kisses? Give me kisses? Mm -hmm. <laughs> give me kisses? Mm -hmm. Kisses? Mm -hmm. No? Okay. <laughs> Dang, <laughs> that was rude. Yeah, she's like, ooh. Hey. Can I get kisses? No? Kisses? Okay, here. Hmm. Here. Hmm. <laughs> she's so excited. You got your handprint all on this, look. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. Gentle. 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 I don't think you have any money in your bank account for this. <laughs> I know you did not just want to put your mouth on that girl. Come on. Crazy baby. Crazy girl. Big girl, how did you stand it? Uh oh, stop 
gotta leave it up here we're gonna look back at this and we're gonna see how big you got yeah this you gonna see this your first this is auntie first time watching you by herself yeah first baby i get to watch by myself girl you're so special <laughs> the way you be throwing things, girl. All right, so it's time for my girl to eat. So I'm about to go and use this right here. Baby Rizzo. So Kylie said it's already set. All I have to do is press start. It's pretty cool. Look at this one. You wanna eat? You hungry? Yeah? Okay, we're gonna get you some food, okay? Mm -hmm. Auntie gotta go pee. Auntie gotta go potty. Ready? One, two. There we go. There we go. Come on. You can do it. Come on. Come on. Yeah. You 
so pretty. Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah. Uh huh. Where are you going? This way. Logan. No. Good no. Uh oh. You want, I know what you want to grab. Dirty back there. Germs. Logan, here. Look, mama. You want to wash your hands with auntie? Hmm? You want to wash your hands with auntie? Because you've been on the floor. Here. Logan. Look. Come on. You so pretty. <gasps> yeah. Come on, here, look. Come on, let's wash your hands. Look. Now wash your hands. <laughs> yeah, big girl! Well, we got the first doo doo of the day. Ooh, stinky girl. Stinky girl. Such a good job. No. Here. Hmm. Hmm. Look. What? 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 I know. Auntie got clean. You good? No, Lolo. You big girl. You're not feeling it. I know, baby. It's okay. I'm almost done. Okay? Here, Here. I know. Almost done. Almost done. I gotta get you good. You went doo doo. Stinky girl. I know. Okay, we gotta take this off. Hmm. I know. I know. Hmm. Oh, mama, come here. Oh, it's okay. It's okay. So we're back from our walk. I got me a little sub and some hummus. Now my girl's chilling over there. I'm about to snack now, and y'all damn starving. But she's been doing so good. So good. My girl's back up. We're having a second bottle. I just changed her, so she just won't pee this time. First time, we had a mess. Not a mess, but it's that type of diaper. We had a good day. It's my girl. I got woke, woke up hungry. I know the feeling. <laughs> oh my goodness, y'all. I'm literally just getting home. It's 11.18. And I've been gone all day. Literally all day. This is the longest I've left Louie in the house. And he did not use the bathroom, y'all. At all. I'm like so surprised. Like being gone that long, I expected him to at least tinkle somewhere. Nothing. I'm like, wow. Like for me being gone that long, I felt like any normal dog would end up just using the bathroom. Y'all, I literally been gone that long because, Kay, I mean, Kylie ended up being at her shoot way longer than expected. And then the time I left was like six. So that was like super traffic time. I'm on bus on my way home and it's gonna be so long until I get home. So I typed in Kayla's address to see how far she was because I knew she was pretty close to Kayla's, but I never went to Kayla's house from Kylie's house and it was only like eight minutes. It was like eight or 10 minutes. 
So I was like, well, I'm gonna just over here for a little bit, sit over here until the traffic dies down so I'm not just sitting in traffic. She ended up cooking. She made me like this cilantro lime chicken rice bowl. It was so good. Just what I needed. I had that sub earlier, but it wasn't too much. So I needed like something like an actual like so I don't know why I'm like looking at my hair. It's just been up these last few days I've gotten it done. And I haven't even shown it, been able to like do anything with it. And it's only day two and I just it's oily already. I'm just like why do you do this? Why? And I feel like these pieces need to be like dyed a little more. It's starting to look a little grassy. My hair doesn't look crazy or nothing. I just feel like I got it done just for it to be up. Like, I just hate that my hair gets oily so bad. Like it's really so annoying. But anyway, I'm gonna take a shower and get ready for bed because I'm tired. <laughs> I'm exhausted. Good morning. It is what's today? Thursday. <laughs> oh well. No storage. I'm about to have to really delete a whole bunch of stuff on this, but it is currently 10:48. I dropped Louis off at 10 to get his hair cut, so he'll be there for a little bit. I have a lash appointment at 12.30, so I'm about to go get me some coffee, go to Home Goods, do a little errand running before my lash appointment, so. <sighs> yeah, been working these last few days. It's definitely about to cut off, but. <sighs> these last two days, or last, yeah, last two days I've just been working. Yesterday was like a weird day, very weird day, um, but. Anyhow, I'm not about to just be up here talking. I'm about to go get something to eat and I'll catch on in a little bit. I'm so irritated. YouTube just gets on my nerves. Like, so the vlog, I already uploaded it. I mean, copyrighted me for a whole different part of the vlog. So I re-uploaded it, changed it or whatever. Now they're telling me there's a another there's a different copyright for another part of the vlog and it's like y'all didn't even mark this last time which would be irritating y'all and then while i'm uploading it and having to go in and put all my tags and like the titles descriptions it doesn't save so i have to go back in and redo all of it so irritating. So that's how my morning has been since y'all just saw me. But I haven't made it to Home Goods. I'm about to just finish eating because I just got my coffee and my sandwich. I've actually never had this from here, and I'm like, so people make eggs and don't put salt and pepper on there? Okay, cool. Um, so, anyways, just on a bagel, fried egg with turkey sausage. It's not bad, but I need some salt and pepper. Um, and it has white American cheese on it. But anyways, um. So after I eat this, I'm gonna just head to my last one because I don't got time. I know. I'm not trying to be late, so. YouTube gotta do better. Like. Go through all this editing. And then it takes for, first of all, this was a longer vlog because I was gone for a while, so it is almost a two hour vlog. It's like an hour, 57 minutes. But I had a lot in there from Miami, from before Miami, went to go see my parents. It was a lot in there. Girls night, things around the house, just me talking, ranting, because I have some things to get on my chest to talk about. Having to wait for it to upload from Final Cut Pro up to YouTube, just for it to be copyrighted, to have to delete it, go back and change the music, find new music upload it again that's gonna take a couple minutes had to wait before I could leave the house so I could upload it from my laptop with Wi-Fi then I finished the rest of my phone and it's cutting up 
on top of having to wait for it to upload to YouTube just for it to be ineligible. But I'm not getting on grease on because I got these sweat pants on. But yeah, y'all. Um, Irritated. I wanted to try to have it up before my last appointment, but I don't think that's gonna happen. She's been talking my mouthful. So it's definitely gonna be uploaded today, but probably won't be uploaded until around like 3 p.m. 4, which is the time I normally do anyway. So it's fine, no baby, but still. Come on, YouTube, get it together. Ain't Instagram, y'all tripping. So, change of plans. I don't know if y'all can hear me, but it is pouring, y'all. Uh, look at this. It's crazy. Anyways, I went into Home Goods. Literally didn't see a damn thing I was interested in. I was on the Home Goods on Piedmont. Mm mm, wasn't given. So, I'm about to go pick up Louie because he's done with his groomers anyways. They called me. So I'm gonna pick up my baby. Can't wait to see what he looks like. I hope y'all can hear me with the rain in the back. I can't wait to see what my boo look like. Cause he needed it. Dad. All right, I'm here to pick up Louie. About to bring him out. Literally just posted my new skins um, post. My first post with working with them. That's exciting. It's so crazy how when influencers do sponsored posts, I always feel like they never get as much love as a regular post. And I've always wondered why. It's like, why? Is it because y'all know we getting paid for it? You want him in the front with you? You can just throw him, well, not throw him, but put him <laughs> through the window. <laughs> Hi, baby. He's so excited. Oh, okay. Thank you go. so much. You're welcome. Thank you. Have a good Hello, one. You Bye. Bye. And baby Louie, you look so handsome. Oh, you're so perfect. Look. Oh, my handsome boy. We got called Nana so she can see you. Oh, you're so cute. You're so handsome. <laughs> Give mama kisses. Hey, get, get out of my drink. Come, baby. Hi, honey. Give mama a kiss. Ooh, you smell good, boo-boo. Hair nice and blow dry. <laughs> He's so cute, y'all. You what? You want to get in the back? Come on. You want to get back here? Oh, go ahead. He is so funny, y'all. I can't even, he's so funny. All right, I gotta finish this post though. But yeah, I feel like, why don't people be liking sponsor content for real? You know, why? What is the deal? What's the deal? What's the deal? You don't wanna support your people? Cause we work hard over here. All right, y'all, I'm about to post this. Then I gotta take my boy home. And then we will get back. I need to turn my phone to this vloggy vlog, okay? Hey, baby, get my... <laughs> you just think you could just do whatever you want. <laughs> so, good morning. It's Friday. And I just got out the shower. Just got myself ready for the day. Oh, I need to clean this. I just hate when I see like hair. <laughs> just hate hair being places. Anyways, I'm about to go to the nail shop. My appointments have one. I'm gonna stop and get me some Chick fil A probably because I'm starving and I just know how I am. So, Louis like being my extra. But when is it here? <laughs> when is it here? So, Yesterday, y'all, yesterday ended up being a real funky day. Like, had some shit going on. 
Um, yeah, yesterday was just a funky day, y'all. It was just on some, like, something completely, like, threw me off for a loop real quick. And I was like, okay, we're going to have to pause some things. <laughs> so, today's a definitely, it wasn't a bad day or anything like that, but... <laughs> Um, yeah, anyways, today is a good day, okay? It's gonna be a good Friday. Temperature's going down a little. Oh, that's what I'm about to do. I'm about to get my little jacket. I can't forget because the temperature did go down. I need to fold these clothes, y'all. But this set I have on because I know y'all already asked. Some Alo. I got this when I was in LA. It's super, super cute. I got a black one too, same type of leggings, but the top is long sleeves and like the holes go all down the arms. Um, trying to see what shoes I'm about to put on. I don't know if I'm gonna do Nikes, Golden Gooses. I think I'm gonna do some Golden, I mean Nikes today because I feel like I've been wearing my Golden Gooses a lot, so. Even though I'm about to get my nails and I'm like, do I wanna wear? It's okay, I'm gonna just wear some sneakers. Because, or do I wanna wear, do I wanna wear these or do I wanna wear my Chanel's? Chanel's are kinda looking like they need to be clean cause I was wearing them back to back. I think I'm gonna just wear the Chanel's, honestly. Yeah, I'm going to come home and wash the top of my hair later today. My shower was amazing this morning because I literally did the whole shave. The, God damn, the shave, the exfoliating, all that. So it was a great shower. All right, y'all. I'm going to catch y'all when I get in the car. And yeah. Okay, y'all. Um, done at the nail shop. Got me some, ah! <laughs> I got me some salsa mm. from the Mexican place over here. It's my favorite salsa ever. Mm. 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 Come on, y'all. The other day, you don't give me no trouble now. Anyways, this salsa is so fresh, so good. Mm. My nails, they look white, but they're really a white French tap. Like, they're still French, but they're white. Cute. I definitely don't like it better than my normal French I get, but it don't hurt to try something new, right? Mm -hmm. I just love this also, like. All right, all right. Maybe I just need to turn it off, y'all. <laughs> but. I'm about to head to Zara after this at Linux, though. Don't like Linux. <laughs> but I got some stuff yesterday that I have to return because y'all know I don't like trying on. And then I got home, get this hair wash. Yep. <laughs> Y'all, I had to go home, take a nap because my head, I don't know what happened. I ate, but I had a terrible headache. So I went home, let Louie out, sat on the couch and took like an hour nap. So now I'm finally on my way to Zara. I only have an hour. I'm about to pull up to Linux. Only have an hour, um, which is good enough. 
but I'm like, I'm not gonna go in any other stores. I wanted to run in Abercrombie to see what other jeans they have because I'm going to New York tomorrow. So not my camera, I'm about to die. Lord Jesus. <clears throat> I'm going to New York in the morning. My flight's at 10 a.m. So I'm only gonna be there until Monday. So I shouldn't have to pack much, but I'm an overpacker. So I'm probably gonna be packing all night, trying to get my looks in. Still gotta wash my hair. So yeah, y'all. And I have to stop at Target still to get some stuff, but. Ugh, that headache had me out, y'all. Oh my goodness, these last few days. First of all, I went to New York for Rolling Loud. <sighs> Did not vlog because, let me just say, <laughs> y'all, I'm sorry, but oh my gosh, just couldn't, okay? It was a lot going on. But anyways, it's Tuesday. We're gonna try this again. Don't don't hate me. Don't talk shit about me. But if you talk shit about me, I, I know I'm terrible. Anyways, I'm about to get ready for um tonight. Um, all the girls are getting together. This is be me. Kylie's actually coming. Kayla, Aaliyah, Tasha, Jew, and our girl AJ. And we're going to Rock Steady for Afro Beats night. I'm so tired, y'all. I was supposed to get up at 8:45. I got up at nine. I'm gonna be late. Uh, my Uber done canceled on me. Okay. But that's okay. I'm gonna just drive. Didn't really plan on drinking that much. Anyway, so. Whatever. But I'm not taking my camera because I have a small purse. But. Oh my goodness. This outfit is gonna have to be reborn because it's so cute and I know I'm not gonna get pictures. I got this from Zara. Top and bottoms. And I just think it's so cute. Don't mind the mess in the background, but <sighs> janky, of course. Like always running late. Tonight was an absolute shit show. <laughs> um, Rock Study is where we went. It was cool. It was Afro Beats night, but definitely don't think. I would go again on a Tuesday. Afrobeats, I love Afrobeats, but they weren't even really playing like the ones that I know. So that's another thing. Um, I think they played like one Burna Boy song. I didn't hear any Wizkid. It was giving real Afrobeats. And I love Afrobeats, but I don't know like the full spectrum of like all the African songs. So I kind of knew it was kind of going to be like kind of going to be like this but yeah i was ready to go y'all like i'm tired i wasn't even drinking i told you i wasn't even drinking that much tonight but i really was not even drinking then we were thinking of where else we could go atlanta's burnt out right now there's absolutely nothing to do nowhere to go everything's dead and the best place i could think of was home and home in my bed with my baby louis so this is tonight's outfit. I got a lot of compliments on it. Um, this whole outfit's actually from Zara. 
the skirt and the shirt. So super affordable. These heels are Tom Ford. The bra underneath is from Victoria's Secret. It's a nice lace black bra. And I didn't have on any accessories today except my Cartier bracelet that just doesn't come off. But I didn't wear anything else. I have my Chanel bag, but um, yeah, this outfit's super cute. I didn't get any, uh, any pictures in it. So you guys will definitely be seeing me in this outfit again. Um, I'm going to be taking, that's Kayla calling me. I'm going to be taking this hair out soon. So I'm like, this outfit's not gonna hit the same without this hair, so I need to wear it ASAP. Hello. Hey. Hey. Are you good? Yes, I'm home. You're home? Yes, I just got home. I just peed. Well, we're here and we just got here and AJ's first thing to make a hookah. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's nice. I'm about to. I wanted to fucking go home. So fine. Bitch, I'm tired. Like. Tonight was a fucking shit show. Like Afro, the Afro beats is cool, but like, I'm, I no, it was cool, but I'm gonna be honest, we weren't really early. Like I feel like we were gonna have a good day. Yeah, I think that's what it was with us already being there, like an hour, hour thirty minutes. No, that's why I really didn't want to go to eat. But you know what I'm saying? I get it, like for the time, but at the same time, I just feel like. <laughs> is a new day right now i am content filming trying to get some content done for skims right now <sighs> so much to do with little time okay so that's what i'm doing right now i'll do some behind the scenes for you guys i already got a little bit content that i like but today hasn't been the best day like today i'm like i'm not photogenic i'm not videogenic <laughs> none of that but we gotta get it done. So we're getting it done. I'm starving. I had a breakfast sandwich this morning, but I need food, like more food. I'm craving the soul food, so. I might go to this spot called Southern Fire Kitchen. They were closed yesterday, but they're open today, so. Yeah, anyways, let's do some behind the scenes. And get it going. <laughs> So right now, I just got in the bed. I'm so cold. I had to turn the air up because it's fall now and keep my house on like 69, 70. And with the temperature dropping, that's gonna make it cold in the house. So I had to turn it down. I got a little behind the scenes, just a little bit. Um, right now, I am out of breath <laughs> currently, but I am editing the video for my reel and my Instagram stories. So that's what I'm doing. I have to do a voiceover. Um, Louis, sit down. Sit down. Sit. Um, I just like to do voiceovers, I feel like, than actually talking while being in the video, moving around in the video, I should say, because I really don't know how I'm about to be moving around. And I can sound more professional, I feel like, and on track when I'm just going along with the video instead of just going along while I'm doing the video. So. I just hate the nail noise walking on the floor. That Louis does. He's looking at me because he knows I'm talking about him. But anyways, I'm about to finish this so I can turn it in and go get some food because I'm stopping. I love Tory Lanez. Like, not him, but like his music. I've always been a fan. Always been a fan. I listened to a lot of his songs, like going to sleep last night. Um, the sex song is crazy, girl. He's giving sound effects and everything. I'm like, oh shit. Okay. Interesting. Hello, Louis. Hey. Good morning. 
Good morning. Spoiled. Good morning. Say hi. Say good morning. <laughs> it's like, why are you pulling my head like that? Oh my goodness, so much to do today. I'm about to go and get myself some breakfast because I don't know if I told you, but my refrigerator is broke. Completely broke. Like all my groceries, done for. All my meats, done. Everything done. And this refrigerator is brand new. And this refrigerator was put in this house in November. It hasn't been a year yet. It's a Samsung refrigerator. Refrigerator, like, should not be doing this. Like, it's completely broke. And it's not cooling. So I have no food right now. So I've been eating out these last few days. Since I got back from New York. And I came back and... Food was melted. Everything was just not cold. And um, so I'm waiting to hear back to get my appointment. But I'm just like, I'm going to need my landlord to reimburse me for my food. Because there was a lot of groceries in there. Especially in my freezer. Like, I like to stock up on meats and stuff. Done. So I'm just like, how do I approach it? My mom was like, you need to tell him. Because... That's a lot of money and a lot of food just wasted. And it wasn't your fault. So. We're going to see. It's funny. But I'm about to get up. Um, I'm going to go shoot some content today for a pretty little thing. Um, I finished my skim stuff yesterday for the month of September. And just waiting for it to get approved. And then... That's it. So I'm just be working today, getting some things done. He's so spoiled. Yeah, we're about to get up, get dressed. How's it going? Probably gonna go get some food first, then I'm gonna go. She's been calling her out oh, oh, oh. Ready right now? I'll come back. I don't know, but I need some coffee. I can't even make my coffee, y'all, because I ain't got no milk. Like, having to eat out and go get stuff every day and, like, literally not having the option to have anything at home. Sex. And I don't like eating out all the time. I don't. I'm going to go to my favorite breakfast coffee shop. I went there yesterday. I didn't vlog it, but that's why I went yesterday. I'm going to go there today again. All right, y'all. Let me get up. <laughs> I made it. To the top, my favorite spot. So, just left Santana's to get my Renee heel fixed. This has been fixed for like weeks now, and I just kept forgetting how to get it. But this is one of my favorite heels, and let me see. I love this place. I just hate when you take stuff here because they be taking so long, like a month, to get shit back. But. Looks pretty good. I ended up, I don't know if you guys remember, but when I was in Miami and I had on that Jacquemus, um pink and white striped like dress, um, these are the heels I wore and the heel ended up, this part ended up breaking girl in the damn club. And I think it was from, you know, standing on the couch in the sections and then like the couch is kind of soft. So all my body weight in the couch and then it's, going on you know just kind of like bending and i think it just snapped unless it kind of already was already like wonky and up and then it just completely snapped from there but i never noticed that girl i'm just so glad the security guard that was in the check section noticed it before i even stepped off that was god because how embarrassing would that have been to walk out get off the couch step down i would have busted my ass literally had to walk on my tippy toes the rest of the night i think we went home after that club but yeah embarrassing but anyways these are one of my favorite pairs it's fixed finally then i have to look at my list because i need to go pick up some toiletry stuff for the house and some other things um i need to do i'm supposed to be going to yoga with kayla and our other friend shanice at six but if i'm not done with everything i'm not gonna make it. it's already 2 p.m Oh.
camera died of course so i'm on my phone but i'm about to go in bassett furniture and then barnes and nobles because i want to pick up a book but i've never been in this bassett furniture place so let's see what it's giving yeah now this is basically just like furniture came in here for like some decor pieces and nope it's not what i'm looking for here I don't see the book I'm looking for, so I'm probably gonna have to get it off Amazon. I got no reason. I thought I'd just come in here. I already have to feed too, so. Ugh. Can't even concentrate. Because I have to be so bad. Arganals. It's cute. Such cute things in here, like a little notebook to journal. Oh, yeah, I gotta go off to pee so bad. So, I've run a couple errands. Um, right now, I'm waiting for my order. I'm getting a smoothie from Clean Juice, so I'm waiting for that. 6 30, I said it'll be done at 6 36. Um, my camera had died, obviously, but I went into Bassett. Like I showed y'all, there was absolutely nothing in there. It was completely furniture, and I didn't even like any of the furniture, even if I was getting furniture. Went into Barnes & Nobles to get a book that I'm looking for. It's called, um, let me see. It's called, one second, babes. The book is called, Why Do Men Hate? or love bitches, I think. Why men love bitches, yes. So, um, a friend of mine posted this and it seemed very interesting. So the closest one is not is all the way in Sugarloaf, Lawrenceville. Y'all, that's where I used to live when I first moved to Atlanta. Literally, Lawrenceville, Sugarloaf. That's where I lived. <laughs> I was so far, I love my little townhouse out there, but it was ah, it was so far like so far i had no idea it was gonna be so far um like it's only 30 minutes which isn't bad 30 minutes in the city but with traffic and there's traffic every single day it was like on a bad on a good day an hour on a bad day an hour and 30. tragic y'all thank god for my ex at the time because he lived in the city so I was never at the house. Literally, if y'all remember, I was never at the house. Only went to work. Literally went to go film and leave. That was it. But, yeah, that's that. Went into Target and I got everything that I needed. Didn't get anything extra. Camera did die in there. But whatever. Let me go ahead and go before y'all start coming at me because all I'm doing is talking. I'm about to get my smoothie anyways, y'all. And I didn't get to charge my camera all the way, so. Oh, I need to go pick. I need to go to Best Buy and get me um, my charger. Because when I went to New York, I left my charger. I always do that shit. I always, you know how many charges I bought? That's one thing I'm bad at, like, when, I come, when it comes to losing things. But it's only, like, when I go out of town and I'll forget it. That's the only time. Only time so annoying because that's just add up okay and i like the speed chargers the apple chargers and that's like 25 dollars for one <laughs> girl i need to get it together I didn't get the plantain. 
because I normally never finish them. So. Yeah, but I'm so hungry. This is my last stop in Mario World I'm just tired. It's been a long day. Long day. And I'm trying to go to bed for sure. Like no later than 11. We'll see. <laughs> Got a sprinkle, drizzle, my favorite sauce ever. Cause I just love this stuff so much. Some lime. Happy Saturday. Oh, let me not get copyrighted. Mm, let me not scrape my wheel. I'm in the Starbucks drive through looking like a boy today okay looking like a straight boy hold on hey can i get for you hi can i do a um um can i do a ice matcha latte with oat milk and can i have um three extra scoops of matcha Six yes. Anything I No, that's it. Thank you. Looking like a boy today. Um, I really. Where do my glasses go? I need to go and get these glasses tightened. I actually have a lot of glasses I need to tighten. I've never worn these. Well, I wore these when I went to. I think we were in DR for Kayla's birthday. They're from Louisville and they're just like loose so they end up like falling off my face so i want to go and stop and get these tightened um i need to go pick up waters because i didn't pick up waters yesterday and what else do i want to do um what else <clears throat> did i have to do yeah that's pretty much it um my Saturday is pretty chill right now. I have to get ready for dinner later. The dinner's at 9.45, so I'm gonna just get this matcha, get me something to eat. I'm tired of eating out, but it's just like, what can I buy? And it doesn't go bad, you know? Cause I can't store anything in my refrigerator, which sucks right now. So that's that. Thank you. It's such a beautiful day in the city. Let's give it a try. No shake, shake. Mm. Ah, it brought my memories. Y'all remember when I was living in Orlando? And when I first moved to Atlanta, my first townhouse, I used to get this all the damn time. Like, all the time. Like, all the time. Like, all the time. It was my drink, y'all. This is before I really got heavy on my, um, this is before I got heavy on my coffee wave. So, yeah. I'm like, this is getting memory. Not my extension, y'all. I had to, I'm, I can't pull this one out yet. I took this one off yesterday while I was in the car. Um, I'm ready for this hair to come out, y'all. I don't know what I'm gonna do next. I think I'm gonna just give it a break, but I've been going back and forth. I told Nelly like maybe five appointments ago, I'm gonna take these extensions out and I'm gonna do a short bob again. But every time I go, I'm just like not ready to let it go. But now I'm like ready and like, I think I'm like, I like the little blonde pieces in the front, but I'm kind of over it now. It was like cute, but I think I'm ready to go back all brown now. So I don't know if I'm going to do short bob. I don't know. We'll see. But then I'm like, if I do the short bob, I'm not going to be able to do my clip. My, you know, the clip vibe is a vibe. 
And I'm not going to be able to do that because it's going to be too short. So, I don't know what I'm going to do. What should I do? And it's like I want to give my hair. About these two I want to give my hair a little break from um, extensions and the tapings right now too. Then my birthday is coming up in literally like a month. It's October first, so um, I'm literally my lit my birthday is literally in a month, and I really don't even know what I'm doing. I know I want to probably do like a trip um, with like my closest friends, but. I'm just not sure what I really want to do. So, I really have to plan that, like, immediately. But, I don't know. I'm only turning 26. So, it's like, I don't have to do anything big. You know what I mean? Maybe I'll just do, like, a little birthday dinner. I don't know. Because then it's like, I do a birthday dinner. Then I'm, I'll be inviting more people. I think I'd rather travel. You know? So, I don't know. But what was the point I was getting to? I don't even know. I lost track of that. Anyways, I don't know what I'm about to eat, but I need to eat. I'm so hungry. But let me get off of here before y'all drag me for just talking. So, I'm about to go in Sparklands. 50% off. All Harvest Halloween. I believe that's what the sign says. Or said when I drove by. I have not gotten anything to eat yet. Honestly, I'm thinking barilla, however you say it, tacos. Even though I just had tacos yesterday, but bar taco and these tacos are completely different. So, I don't know. We'll see. But, turkey friends right here. So, I think I'm going to get them, try them out. If they're not returnable, I'm not going to get them because I got stuck with two mirrors. $200 just, like, sitting in the house because they weren't returnable. They were final sales, so... I don't know, they're 40% off. They're only $9.99, so 40% off of that. It's not bad. Hmm, I don't know, though. Because I'm like, the frames are light. No, I'm gonna have to try it out. I'm gonna have to see if they're returnable. Let me pause my music. So I'm getting ready. It is, what time is it? 8. 30 and I have to be to dinner at 9 45 so I'm doing pretty good on time I must say I must say because you know lately I haven't really been on time but when am I on time so I just got the shower I didn't even finish on you guys the setup of everything that I got from Kirkland's but I haven't hung up my frames. I put the um, console where I'm gonna have it. Um, and uh, it was getting dark, so I'm gonna just wait until tomorrow to show you guys during the day. But I'm so excited. I put my little pumpkin pillows up, my little pumpkin that I got from my porch. I got Mr. Skeletons out. I don't know if y'all remember him from like two Halloweens ago. I forgot I had Mr. Skeleton and he was in the garage saying hello. It's time to bring me out. <laughs> but yeah, so getting ready and I'm gonna be trying to like really spray stuff on my face because my lashes get wingy. I really need to wash them, but Emma's robe is looking skimp now because I got like an old stain and that was not there the other day, I don't think. But anyways, getting myself together for tonight. <sighs> really not in the mood to be turning up, but you know, gotta support my friend for her birthday she invited me to. It's a birthday, can't miss that. Especially if I'm here, that would be rude. Very rude of me. But yeah, I'll show you guys tomorrow. Everything. I'm so excited. It's finally coming together. I'm getting motivation to finish. You know? It's only been a year. Almost. <laughs> Where's the little brush to bring this in? Alright, y'all. This point is this part is pointless. So catch y'all in a second. And I promise I got y'all 
with a foundation. Well, this isn't foundation I'm putting on. This is just the Charlotte Tilbury um, Flawless Filter. It's not foundation. It's like a, I don't even know how, what you would call this. It's like a skin tint. It doesn't really give you coverage, but it like gives you a glow and kind of like evens out the skin tone, you know? If you don't have this, you need this. Okay, I'll see y'all when I'm getting dressed. I'm doing a TikTok, so you'll catch that when it's up. <laughs> with your makeup on girl don't go to sleep with your makeup on like don't it's like a sin <coughs> i feel like the only like there's literally only a few times i fell asleep with my makeup on and that was on like a real lit night like a real lit night which I don't have too many of because I make sure I take my makeup off sweet, okay? Because it's like every time I don't take my makeup off, literally my skin has a little pimple in the morning. If it goes from it ranges from small to big and I don't got time for that because it's could all been avoided just by a simple wash to the face. And I don't just use a makeup wipe. I actually wash my face too because I be feeling like the makeup wipe it gets it all, but like still oils on your face. And I'll still get a pimple majority of, well, not majority of the time because my skin does a lot better if I actually take it off with a makeup wipe and actually do nothing. But I like to really wash my face and really get it off and go to sleep with a clean, fresh face to avoid all problems. But tonight was fun. Tired. They went to after hours, girl. I came home. I'm tired. Tomorrow's Sunday. Got shit to do. And I'm not asleep, y'all. It was like my bed was calling my name. But anyways, this is the end of the vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed this two-week vlog. It was shorter, but you know, more relevant and not too much. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Love you guys.